Hi guys, this is Rosa, aka Sharon, all uh, from Beauty Chat Radio, along with Rosa's Resources. Anyway, guys, this is March 13th, 2020, and I cannot believe what's going on. I am live, broadcasting live from New York City. Um, I work at the airport. I currently work at the airport, right? That's my full-time job, and it's a little scary. We see more travelers coming in now with uh, mask, you know, we have to be there. So we're in ground zero. We're there, you know, we're in the war zone. So a lot of times customers come, they don't have manners. They don't know how to sneeze like this. You know, they sneeze right in your face. Like it's scary. But anyway, as everything is being locked down, the school system is being locked down. The children now have to be like, uh, learning online, you know, so my son, he's 11 years old, sorry, 11 years old, he's in 11th grade, and he goes to high school, he's supposed to take a SAT test tomorrow, not happening, all the schools in New York are closed down right now, for safety, you know, so it's just like, this just teaches you, like, important lessons that you cannot learn in a handbook, real lessons right now, real live lessons, so, you know, we need to save, constantly save, because we don't know what's going on, what's, what's happening. Um, you need to always be stocked up with food, because you don't know what's happening, especially like water, you know, canned food, guys, um, because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how long, God forbid, if we have to be quarantined in our house, you know, we don't know. And I don't know about you, but I'm not trusting that the government is going to, basically, I don't want nobody to save me. I want to save myself. You understand me? So right now, if that happens and say the lower income people, what are they going to do? Nobody's going to come and save. You got to save yourself. So take precaution. Just go to the um, supermarket, buy some canned items, soup, beans, definitely have rice. Just have stuff that's going to you know last long. And you know, have cereal for the children, stock up on milk, put them in the freezer. By the way, your milk will go in the freezer. At least you could keep it for like, what, three, four days? Maybe somebody's going to say I'm telling you something wrong, but I'm old school, honey. Put those milk in the freezer and let them be preserved a little longer. But um, this is serious. I, I say have your batteries, your flashlights. You know what I mean? We got to really, this is like, I know how to survive because old school, honey. Lights, we don't want to, I'm not going to encourage you guys with the candle, but you know, you have some the lights that you could like, you know, the night lights that you put in, you could have stuff like that. Um, batteries, definitely. You know, I don't know what's going to happen to the TV. and I, I might be going bunkers a little bit, but guys, just take care of yourself. All the schools are closed down. We don't know if we're going to be working. They send people home to work remotely from home. So, wow. I say this is the new world order, honey. Life as we know it is definitely going to change. The thing about it... The thing about living in America, people always think it can't happen to them. You know what I mean? We think that we're so protected. And for me, that's a false sense of security. But this is so big, so big, you know? Look what happened. And we just want to pray for the world because if you look on the map, all the dots are filled up. So it's affecting global. This is a global, it's definitely a global thing, guys. So... You just got to be creative right now because if you got to make money, you got to make money. I don't know what you guys are going to do, but you can have online consultation. Um, I'm sure we're going to be able to go outside every now and then. Maybe they're going to have curfew, but we have to make sure if we could bake, cook, we're going to have to make, we're going to have to just like be creative as far as making money out here. It's serious because some people don't have family like myself. I don't have family here. You know what I mean? I don't have nobody to depend on here. So it's all about me. I got to survive. You know what I mean? So you just got to be careful now. It's just everything is going up. The stock prices, uh, the stock market is dropping. But if you have money, you can hold on to your stocks. You know what I mean? Be smart with your money. Make sure you have some money at home. Even even your little your coins. You save your coins, honey. Those are going to be your emergency fund. So, um... I am just coming here, guys, to put my little input in with this coronavirus. 2020, since it started out, everything is going on. Everything. The president, they try to impeach him. 
everything just was like ever since to, uh, 2020 coming it's like when 2000 was coming in and everybody said oh my god the millennium that's how i feel about 2020 it's the worst i just wanted to be gone already but welcome to the future honey yeah things are going to be changing around here but i hope this give you guys some definitely creative ideas you know and just think about your life life is much much serious right now very serious you know and for those like i said that could pray for others pray because the world need prayer honey definitely and um take care of yourself guys be safe out here um and pray if you feel like you are sick please make sure you do you know follow the proper procedures guys don't affect everybody else because one person could infect a lot of people you know, and try not to be prejudiced against the Chinese people because I remember 911 when they were trying to be prejudiced towards the Muslims, it was very bad. So, we don't want that, you know. So, just try to live united, pray for each other, do the best you can, and be safe, guys. This is really serious. Please comment, share this video, subscribe if you can. Thank you very much. Have a great day.